to a detention center. CBS4 first showed you that center and how it'll house people arrested during the Democratic National Convention. Protesters liken it to Guantanamo Bay, but tonight the razor wire is gone. The change comes after we first revealed the existence of that facility last week. Today, the Sheriff's Department conducted a drill, and CBS4 investigator Rick Salinger was there. So, Rick, what did you find this time? Well, Jim, today they were fake prisoners, actually employees of the Denver Sheriff's Department, preparing for the possibility of mass arrests once the Democrat National Convention gets underway just a few days from now. Two sheriffs, prisoner buses, and three vans suddenly pulled up in front of the converted warehouse. With deputies stationed around the vehicles, people in handcuffs were taken off the buses. This was a run-through in advance of next week's Democratic National Convention. This building will serve as a processing center for those arrested. Peter Stravolo has a business nearby. What do you think of having this in your neighborhood? Well, I really don't mind. I think it's uh, something they have to do. I'm just kind of glad they're taking some precautions ahead of time. Protesters were quick to label the facility as Gitmo on the Platte. This came after we managed to get inside and show pictures of chain-link fences topped with razor wire to temporarily hold those taken into custody during the convention. Now we've learned that razor wire has been removed. Was there a concern that the razor wire sent the wrong message? Um, I don't know if we were concerned about the wrong message being sent anywhere. I think the message is, is that we're going to be prepared if there are widespread arrests. The mayor's office got involved in that decision to take the razor wire out. In fact, we were told that they didn't see the benefit of having razor wire. What they're going to do now is put another chain link fence as a roof on top of these holding cells. Jim? When Rick, I guess the hope for everyone is, is that the facility doesn't get used during the convention. Well, they put a lot of work and a lot of money into this place, but I think they'd be uh, even happier if they don't have to use it. Rick Salinger.